Hi, this is Glenda and tonight I will be making a small soup. I want to test this fragrance sample that I bought. It is Verbena Bamboo from Lone Star Candle Supply. It is a one ounce sample which should be enough for one pound of oils which I have right here. I will be using the Hedgehog Embeds which I show in a previous video how to make and I mix the colorants ahead of time. It is actually just one colorant, is neon pigment from Nurture Soup. In one container I have half a teaspoon and in the other one I have a quarter teaspoon because I just want to see what different amounts do in the soup. So I'm also testing that as well. I just warm up the oils, they are at 92 Fahrenheit or that would be 33 Celsius. And this is the light water solution, which already has some tetrasodium EDTA mixed in, which is why it looks like this. I learned later that I shouldn't add it to the light water solution or it precipitates so it becomes thick like that. However, it didn't give me any trouble in the soap because I was using a very small amount. The light water solution is at room temperature, which is about 77 Fahrenheit for me. And I did take the oils back to be warm up again. So now they are at 97 degrees Fahrenheit because I want to avoid having false trays. I don't want them to be too cool. Uh, the colors are blue because I want them to look like they're swimming. I was watching a video, and if I can find it, I'm going to link it in the description, of this guy bathing his hedgehog, and that's how he looked. It looks so cute that I thought of making them with soap too. And the main reason why I'm using the EDTA is because I live in an area where there is hard water, and EDTA helps the soap perform better in areas where the water has a lot of minerals. It is basically a chelator. It also helps reduce oil rancidity. So in turn, it should help reduce uh, DOS or dreaded orange spots, which in areas where there is high humidity, like where I live, is very likely to happen. And now I'm going to start blending just briefly for a few seconds and alternate it with the stirring the soap mix. I only blended it for a little bit and it already seems to be emulsified and also it seems to be at a very light trace stage, which I hope it is not false trace. But uh, in either way, I'm going to go ahead and add the fragrance just to see how it acts. I will say that it smells very fresh, very green. Um, it almost reminds me of the scent of Irish spring soap. So if you like it, this is what it reminds me of. So I'm not sure what everybody else thinks though. And because it seems to be behaving well, I don't see any acceleration, I'm going to go ahead and blend it a little bit just to make sure it gets evenly distributed. All right, that should be good enough. I'm going to go ahead now and divide it into three portions of eight ounces each. This portion is going to be left uncolored, so it should turn into like an off-white color. And then to the other two, I'm going to add the pre-mix colorant, which I mix with a light colored olive oil, so that it will be easier to disperse and also to break down any lumps that tend to form in it. Against my better judgment, after stirring it with a spatula, which was good enough, I decided to use a stick blender and this incorporated a lot of bubbles into the mix. So I was having to tap it against the counter just to make sure that the bubbles came to the surface where they could dissipate. Now, 
I was being careful not to tap it too hard so that it wouldn't jump back up, which could cause burns, and that's not good at all. I alternated pouring each color, and then I used a spoon to make like a spoon swirl. And I did that halfway through the pouring, and then once again, when I was done, just for the top portion as well. When I was done with that, I just did a light uh, swirl on top, and then it was time to add the hedgehogs, and hopefully they can swim and they don't sink. I decided to wait three days to make sure that I could get the soup out of the mold without damaging it. And here we are. So let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. And since these powders, uh, these neon powders are supposed to be neon, right? I might see what they look like under a uh, black light I've used neons before in face painting say for a potty that may be like a, a theme potty where everybody's wearing, wearing neon shirts and stuff but I like how they look and they look so cute it smells nice actually lemony but a nice lemon like a note of sweetness it seems I can't place it and I could tell bamboo yeah I could see that so thank you for watching bye